Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, my husband is gonna mash them all together. Okay, we're gonna take the apron and the headband from the clownfish. <laughs> we're gonna take the hood from the snake. We're also gonna take the fins from the jellyfish manta ray thingy. <laughs> And um, the face from Hello Kitty. Mix, 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 mix. Okay, I'm gonna draw the striped clothes from the clownfish. Now we're doing the hood from the Cobra Boy. So I made the hood orange from the clownfish, and now we're gonna put the flappies from Jingrave thingy down here. <laughs> <laughs> and we're making them the same pink. I'm actually gonna do the manta ray face with the Hello Kitty whiskers. Last, I'm gonna add the whiskers, and here's the final result. It's very maximalist, and um, she's like a little Digimon. A little dangerous up top, a little party down bottom. <laughs> I think it looks like a Power Ranger. Yeah. A pink Power Ranger. Let us know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Ooh, okay, let's go. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we take this little shape and the little dot speckles from the hedgehog. We have to do the color from this tie-dye cat the top of the mushroom, and then maybe do like the bottom of this mane to kind of look like a beard. So first I'm just gonna color in all these tie-dye colors and blur that out to get the tie-dye effect. Now I'm just gonna draw the little shape of the hedgehog cutout, color it in this kind of tan color, and then add in the little speckles. That's looking really cute. Now trying to make it weird by adding on the toadstool. <laughs> and let's add on all the dots. I'm gonna add the little snout. And now time to make it weird by adding on <laughs> the lion's mane. I'm gonna finish that up and here is the final result. This one is definitely one of the weirder <laughs> ones I've ever done, but let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Ooh, okay. Also, this is part 50, by the way, so that's just crazy. I'm thinking we do the hoodie from Hello Kitty, the wings and the antenna from the butterfly, the horns and ears from the dragon, and the color, and then we definitely have to do the icing topping from the cinnamon roll. So I'm gonna start by drawing the hoodie, and I'm gonna go ahead and color that in, and I'm gonna color in the dragon body as well. Now I'm gonna add on the butterfly wings as well as the antenna. And I'm gonna add on the ears and the horns from the dragon. And I'm gonna color all of that in. I decided I wanna give it a dragon snout, but then the Hello Kitty whiskers. The final step is just gonna be to add on all of the icing from the cinnamon roll. And here is the final result. I think we could not have asked for a better one for the 50th part of the series. And I just love how it turned out so much. Let me know what you think we should name this one in the comments. Popsocket just sent me four of their new Squishmallow collabs and whichever ones I get, I'm gonna mash them all together. We definitely do the top of the mushroom, the little gills from the axolotl, the horns and ears maybe from the cow, and then the little markings from the cat. So I'm gonna start with the pink from the axolotl, then I'm gonna draw on the top of the mushroom, and I'm gonna add in the little gills from the axolotl, and the horns and ears from the cow. That is looking really wild. Now I'm gonna add on the little tiny arms from the axolotl and draw on the markings as well as the whiskers from the cat. And finally add on the classic Squishmallow smile and here is the final result. I am in love with this one. This one turned out to be one of the coolest ones I've ever made. It's giving very much like mythical woodland creature. I don't know. Let me know what you think we should name this one in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Ooh, okay, let's do it. I think it'd be cool if we could do half black and then half the bottom of this one, just so it kind of has a gradient effect. And then we can use the color from this one and make the features of the Corgi, and then do the same colors for some of the features from the unicorn. So I'm gonna color the top half in black and then do the bottom half in this blue and blend it out. Now I'm gonna add in the corgi features, but in that yellow from the skull. Next, I'm gonna add in all the little boba pearls, and I'm gonna add on the ears and the horn from the unicorn. I also wanna add this little swoop from the unicorn. Lastly, add a tiny little green smile, and 
Here is the final result. I think this one turned out so cute. I love the color combination with the green, the black, the blue, and then all of the other little colors throughout it. Let me know what you think we should name this one in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows these filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Ooh, all right. So I'm thinking we do the color and the little legs from the octopus. We gotta add in some speckles like they have on the hedgehog. I wanna do the bow from Hello Kitty and then this kind of swoopy thing, the face and the scythe from the Grim Reaper. So first I'm gonna color it purple and draw on each of the little legs. Now I wanna draw on the little skeleton mask from the Grim Reaper. That's <laughs> looking really cute. Now I'm gonna add in his little scythe and get on there those purple almost sprinkles just like it has on the hedgehog. Now I'm gonna add on Hello Kitty's big pink bow. And finally, I'm gonna add on the hood from the Grim Reaper and here is the final result. Honestly, this might be one of my favorite ones ever. It's giving like a little bit of Grimace, a little bit of Barney, I don't know, but this one is so cute. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh, okay. Since we have two unicorns, I'm thinking we do the peppermint part from this one and then the horn from this one. We have to do the frog eyes with the little hearts. And then I'm thinking maybe um, a snout similar to any of these three, plus the bandana and the little details on the pig. To determine the color, I'm just gonna mix all these background ones. And we're left with kind of a mint green. Now I'm gonna add on the frog eyes and move the other ones up. And now I need to add on all the little red swirlies from the peppermint and draw on the little swoopy bangs from the unicorn. And of course, add on that horn. Now I'm gonna add on the bandana. Next, I'm gonna draw the frog's hearts as well as the little snout. Lastly, I just need to add on all the little speckles from the pig and here is the final result. Something about this pattern is giving camouflage to me and the bandana and the red is almost giving like Rosie the Riveter vibes. I don't know. Let me know what you think about this one and what we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh, all right, let's go. So my thought on this one is to take the skull mask and the ears from the bunny, this little turtle shell from the turtle, the tie-dye rainbow from the raccoon, and then all the little splotches from the snow leopard. And then because these colors are kind of weird, let's add them all together and mix them up. Okay, so I'm gonna mix those up together. Ooh, we get like a light green kind of gray color. Next, I'm gonna draw on the skeleton mask and add on the ears for the bunny. And now let's go ahead and do the outer shell of the turtle. That's looking good. Now I'm gonna add on the belly, paint it in a little bit rainbow stripes and then blur it all together. The only thing left is to add on all of the little splotches from the snow leopard and here is the final result. We have two in a row that are looking almost camo, but I think this one turned out really hard with that skeleton mask in there. Let me know what you think about this one and what you think we should name it in the comments. 